Coming up on Valley News Live at 6 after the firing of a doctor, a protest in Fergus Falls. Where surging assaults on Uber and Lyft drivers result in a citywide alert. Plus, the man accused of brutally assaulting a 14-year-old enters a plea. Valley News Live at 6 starts right now. This is Valley News Live at 6. Good evening, everyone. In Fergus Falls today, hundreds of people gathered near the Lake Region Healthcare Facility to show support for recently fired General Surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Horak. Valley News Live's Aaron Walling has our top story. In Fergus Falls, hundreds of people gathered in town for a peaceful protest in support of Dr. Jeffrey Horak outside the Lake Region Healthcare Facility. While it is not clear why Dr. Horak is no longer with the hospital, some speculated that it has to do with statements he made earlier this month at the Fergus Falls School Board meeting where he spoke out against their mask mandate. Rick Belinsky, a family friend of Dr. Horak, doesn't believe he should have lost his job over his statements. We're very proud of him. For him to stand up and lose his job tells you something about the man. We're actually family friends, our friends. He's an incredible man. There's no way he should lose his job for what he has said. We've lost our freedoms. Some of the signs that the protesters held said, I stand with Dr. Horak. Others had personal choices, freedom, and no to vaccine mandates. You have something like this. I mean, we, the people here are standing up for liberty. They're standing up for their freedoms. Uh, and we have to support that. They also held testimonies in the park across the street from the hospital, speaking on the behalf of Dr. Horak. If they can do something like this to an individual, a good man, a prominent individual in our community like Dr. Horak, how soon is it that they can do that to us? That they can bully us, that they can attack us, that they can, they can just turn off the switch and cancel us. Even Dr. Horak spoke at the rally, thanking the community for their support. I spoke with a group of nurses at the protest. Some shared their support for Dr. Horak, and others stood with the protesters for personal freedoms. They told me, quote, we would be willing to speak up if we were not fearful that our job would be in jeopardy for expressing our First Amendment rights, unquote. In Fergus Falls, Aaron Walling, Valley News Live. For updates on this story and news from around the Valley, download the free VNL News app. New tonight at 6, a Fargo man has entered a plea in the brutal and random attack of 14-year-old Jupiter Paulson. 22-year-old Arthur Colley entered an Alford plea this afternoon to his murder, robbery, and aggravated assault charges. That means while he doesn't admit guilt, he acknowledges there is enough evidence to convict him. The assault happened June 4th after documents say a garbage man was driving through the Party City parking lot and witnessed Colley leaning over the victim with one hand on her nose and the other hand on her throat. Video surveillance shows he spent around 25 minutes assaulting the victim before running off. Documents say Colley told investigators he suffers from anxiety, depression, and multiple personality disorder and used meth the day before the attack. At least a dozen rideshare drivers in Minneapolis have been the victims of robberies and armed carjackings within the last week, leaving some drivers here in the valley on edge. While local police say so far there hasn't been anything like that happening in the metro, one driver tells Valley News Live it's always best to be prepared and aware. Just be mindful of where you are, and if it doesn't seem right, go with your gut. Widener says he has his own set of safety rules, including staying away from downtown, not picking up additional passengers during a ride, and refusing service to riders when something doesn't seem right. With the cool temperatures and wind picking up, it's definitely fall. Here's Hutch with a little preview of our week. Hutch. Stacy, thanks so much and good Monday evening everyone. Not a bad way to start the work week. We do have an increase in high clouds providing us with a stunning view of that sunset in Grand Forks. Thanks to our friends at Home of Economy for providing that view. Take a look at these morning temperatures. Babe, the blue ox, a little bit of frost on the old nostrils. There's 22 this morning. We saw some low 20s also in places like Cavalier and out in Grand Forks. It was in the mid 20s, a chilly start, but temperatures managed to work their way up to very close to 50 for almost all locations. Not too windy and just a few high clouds out there. However, the big storm system on the West Coast that uh, folks have been talking about bomb cyclone bringing showers and snow to the Rocky Mountains out West. Well, that's going to impact our weather and it begins 
by tomorrow morning for this evening. Very quiet, staying in the 40s all evening and overnight that wind will actually increase a bit. So find out details on a, a very, very windy Tuesday in your forecast coming up here in just a moment. Also, we'll talk about how our chance of rain increases through midweek. Stacy here in just a few moments. All right. Thanks so much. Hutch. You bet. The North Dakota Attorney General's Office has subpoenaed Glosser images. In the past month, the director of North Dakota's Consumer Protection Division says more than 500 complaints have been received from customers all over the U.S. Glosser Images attorney says he's developed a plan to get wedding photos and videos into the hands of customers and to have subcontractors ready to cover future reservations. But he said he does not believe Glosser intends to give any refunds. A Minnesota man will spend the next three months on house arrest for his role in a May 2020 assault in Baker. 52-year-old Stephen Krogsgaard is charged with third-degree assault. The victim's sister told police her brother was in the hospital with injuries from an assault and may not make it through the day. Her brother had been living with Krogsgaard and Baker, and Krogsgaard admitted to hitting him in the face the day before. He'll spend the next 86 days on an electronic home monitoring system, along with another five years of supervised probation. Fargo Cass Public Health is now offering flu shots during their COVID vaccine clinics. You can get your flu shot this Friday from 10 to 2 or next Tuesday, November 2nd from 12 to 6 at the Fargo Cass Public Health office. You can find more details at FargoCassPublicHealth.com. Minnesota is experiencing one of the most active wildfire seasons in recent history. The Minnesota Department of Public Safety says this summer it responded to 17 wildfires between March and October. The most notable fire was the one you're looking at there, the Greenwood Fire in the northeastern part of the state. That fire forced evacuations and even briefly closed the Boundary Waters area. 90% of wildfires across the state and the nation, they say, were caused by people. DPS urges you to use caution when parking your vehicle on vegetation like grass, when burning debris, or when using mowing or other equipment that can spark fires along roadways. Minnesota school boards have seen a significant increase in resignations this year, due in part to disagreements over critical race theory and COVID policies. According to the Minnesota School Boards Association, nearly 70 board members have resigned their positions this year. That's three times the normal amount, and the association says it's leading to an unusually high numbers of district special elections. And at the center of many of the campaigns and platforms of those running for the open positions, violence and threats towards school board members over those developments issues. Governor Doug Burgum and First Lady Catherine Burgum hosted the fifth annual Recovery Reinvented event today. The day focused on sharing stories of addiction and recovery to end the stigma around the disease and create a recovery friendly culture. North Dakota experts say these techniques are paying off. Data from the North Dakota Addressing Addiction Survey was shared today and it shows that stigma and discrimination improved across the state over the last three years. North Dakota is giving out codes for discounted lift rides this Halloween weekend. It's through their ND Sober Ride program, a state effort to get drunk drivers off the road. Use lift code VZ Halloween one to get 10 bucks off your ride. And the water tower in Moorhead has won tank of the year. Voters in Fargo, Moorhead and across the country chose the 750,000 gallon tank for its vibrant and creative design. It'll be featured now in an annual calendar. The design on the water tower was created after the city reached out to the community to discover what they loved best about their town and they turned those responses into a mural. Coming up on Valley News Live at 6, Prince is at the center of a new congressional resolution. We'll tell you why. And then weather, we have changes coming after a cold start today. We saw temperatures peaking near 50 degrees, a gorgeous setting sun as we close out our Monday. Changes will be here for many of us by the late day on Tuesday. Details are coming up. Join me. Weather's next.